is welcome all right welcome back to another review so this one's for another gel eye patch thing this one's by tony moly and it's the firming i'm gel wine all right <laughs> firming i'm red wine gel eye patch can we tell i've had some baileys Good lord. I already had to like double check. Does the never mix never worry rule apply to like if you drink some and then you're topically applying something to your skin that has another kind of booze in it? Cause probably should know before going into this. Oh well, YOLO, I guess I'll find out. So <laughs> I don't think you would get drunk off of doing gel eye patches, therefore it probably doesn't apply, but I guess we're gonna find out. They are moisturizing clear gel eye patches that provide elasticity to skin around the eyes. Directions, wash and dry your face, did that. Remove protective film on each eye patch and gently attach under the eyes, leave on for 20 minutes and then remove. Ingredients are water, methyl propanediol, glycerin, panthenol, wine extract, acetobacter slash saccharomyces slash raspberry fruit extract slash punica granatum fruit extract slash wine ferment filtrate, saccharomyces slash lyceum chinensis fruit ferment extract filtrate, Valentoin, disodium EDTA, glycerol acrylate, slash acrylic acid copolymer, propylene glycol, PVM slash MA copolymer, PEG60 hydrogenated castor oil, acrylates slash C10-30 alkyl acrylate cross polymer, tromethyl, tromethamine, chlorophenicin, hydroxy, yeah, hydroxyacetophenone, fragrance, Crondrus crispus extract, carob gum, and glucomannan. Doing that a little bit tipsy. It's, it's harder than it sounds trying to read those ingredients. So I think I did an okay job, all things considered. So, yeah, I'm filming this the day after St. Patrick's Day. So, you know, a little hair of the dog that bit you. So, had some more and, uh, yeah, that's where we're at today. So let's get some of the excess serum out of here so it doesn't all go to waste. I just squeeze. Oh, it went all over my pants. Fuck. Okay. That is not how I meant for that to go. God damn it. All right. I just wanted to like squeeze out. And even though this is for the eyes, I'm going to like all over my damn face with it. Get all of the benefits because they do have some Tony Moly. I am red wine like stuff like the sheet mask and like a wash off mask. So I'm just gonna get all the benefits even from like the eye mask one as if it were a mask by not wasting it. So, um, where the hell's it? Okay, I was like, where's it open from? <laughs> all right, they do not want to come out. There they are. Slimy and satisfying. Okay. Come on, you. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is an epic shit show already. <laughs> this is why you guys tune in, right? Right. Okay. I. Whoop. Whoop. Is there a film on it? I think there's a film on it. Which side is the one I. Oh! Okay. <laughs> my favorite part is I'm not sure is this the mask? Or is this the mask? I don't know for sure. I think it's this, because this feels more like gel than the other, so I'm going to assume it's this. And I'll slide it up whoop, closer to the eye off camera after I kind of just have them on. Holy balls. Okay. <laughs> okay. This. <laughs> All right. Uh, these retail for $4 a pack. If you buy them from the Tony Moly website, you can get a pack, like a two pack, like two pairs for $8, which would make these four per pack. But they don't sell them as a one pack, so. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. All right, they feel like they're attempting to become one with my skin, which is probably the dang point. 
I'm gonna go set the timer and go sit still for a few minutes while it does its thing and I'll report back. Okay, so while I definitely waited too long to film the after part for those uh, gel eye patches, I feel like it doesn't really make that much of a difference anyway because what I noticed after using them, I didn't really so much see a difference under the eyes. Like, they looked about the same from the puffiness to it didn't really change the pore size like it was claiming and shit, but I could feel a difference. Like, it felt firmer across here, temporarily. At this point, I, I think those effects have worn off because it's the next day -ish. But, uh, <laughs> like I said, I kind of forgot to come back and film the update, but, um, it did something. It did something. But that said, just it feeling firmer versus it actually looking better, I don't know. For four bucks, I kind of expect it to actually, like, do a thing that shows. So for me, I think these are going to be a pass unless you're using it just as, like, a self-care thing where it's like, I just like the feel of it and the relaxation time while I have them on. For that, they're great. For actual visible effects, not so much, so <laughs> I don't know. They're kind of hit or miss for me. One thing I did notice that was really weird with these that I haven't experienced with other gel patches for the eyes is that other ones you can generally like rearrange and move around to exactly where you need them. With these, pretty much where you first stick them, that is where they are going to be. Otherwise, you're not going to get that good kind of seal again. Good luck. I tried. Trust me, I tried and then immediately regretted it because I could not get it to stick the same way again as it was in the first place. Because I tried to move them up a little closer to, like, the lower lids, so it would hopefully help with, like, some of the puffiness there. But, yeah, it really did not want to stick, and then they just wanted to fall off, so I pretty much just was relegated to just lay down with them on and stay the fuck still. So, <laughs> yeah, not the best. I've definitely tried better. I think the, um, the Soap and Glory ones were way better than these, and they're approximately the same price point. I think they were like a dollar more, but for something that actually works, both in terms of staying on and in terms of actually being able to see a result, I'd rather pay that extra dollar if it means I'm actually getting results versus, well, I did the thing, but it was kind of just for funsies more than anything, so... Those are my thoughts. So anyway, that is it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.